Is your iPhone performing slower than normal? Or is it acting weird? Do you fear it might be a virus or malware and want to get rid of it? Then keep watching. In this video, we will explain what iPhone viruses are and how to check and remove them. Also, we will show you the best antivirus software available for iPhone these days and how you can get a special 70% discount on our top-rated pick. So, watch the video to the end and don't go anywhere. And by the way, we have hidden this key somewhere in this video. Find it, take a screenshot, and send it to this email address. And we will send you a motivational quote to inspire you. Let's see if you're smart enough to find it. Let's get started. There's no denying that the iPhone virus is rare. The reason is simple. In order to spread, a mobile virus requires communication with several inbuilt programs that constitute a system. The iPhone uses a unique operating system, which is mapped out such that every single app operates in its own virtual space, limiting interactions between other apps. Hence, the virus spread is restricted. However, a virus is not the only threat to your device. It's only one of the different types of malware. Ransomware, spyware, trojans, worms, etc. can also inflict damage on your device and open it to cybercrimes. Some of the signs that your iPhone is under a malware attack include the presence of unknown apps on your device, high data and battery usage, overheating, and pop-ups after browser closure. In this tutorial, first we will show you how you can remove viruses and other types of malware from your iPhone using Norton Security for iOS, which is our highest rated premium antivirus app for iOS. We have rated and reviewed over a dozen of antivirus apps for iPhone, and we believe it's the best product your money can buy right now. Later in this video, we will cover how to remove a virus or malware using a free antivirus app for those who cannot afford to pay for a paid antivirus suite. However, we highly recommend you get a premium antivirus app for all-round protection and complete peace of mind. Paid antivirus suites come with a whole set of protection, performance, and privacy features that you won't get with a freeware. Plus, paid suites provide top-of-the-line malware protection with minimal impact on performance. Now, let's cover the step-by-step -step instructions for removing viruses and malware using Norton Mobile Security for iOS. This product is also called Norton 360. Please note that this product is only compatible with the iOS platform. If you want to protect multiple devices running on different platforms like Windows, macOS, and Android, we highly recommend getting Norton 360 Deluxe. It's multi-platform compatible and covers up to five devices, giving great value for money. It also includes Norton Mobile Security. If you're interested in Norton 360 Deluxe, see the official link we have added in the description box down below for a special 70% discount. This discount is available for a limited time, so act fast. For this video, we will be using Norton Security for iOS. The first thing you have to do is click the official link we have provided in the description box down below. You can either pick Norton Mobile Security for iOS or Norton 360 Deluxe depending on your needs. Just so you know, the 360 Deluxe suite also includes mobile security. Clicking the link will take you to the product page. Now, enter your email address and other details to sign up for the product. After you have successfully created your account, you can download or install the Norton 360 product. After the product is successfully installed, open the application. The home page displays Wi-Fi security, device security, web protection, identity, VPN, and SMS security. The Wi-Fi security is a feature that checks every Wi-Fi connection to ensure it's secure. This feature is activated by default. After that comes device security, which is where you are warned about any potential threats. For example, if your iPhone's OS is out of date, you will be warned to update it in the device security area of the application. The next option is web protection, which when turned on, helps you protect your privacy on compromised networks and identifies harmful sites before you even visit them at all. Next on the line is VPN. If your subscription covers it, open the tab and activate it. We advise you to activate the auto connect option so that the VPN option automatically turn on for compromised networks and turn off when they are no longer compromised. Once you have dotted your I's and crossed your T's, scanning your iPhone using the app is much easier. The app actually does the scanning in real time so you don't have to manually scan your iPhone to detect viruses. If there's a need for urgent attention, the threats can be reviewed in your Protection Report screen, which you can access by holding and pulling up the Your Protection Report text at the bottom of the main screen. If there's some sort of malware or virus hiding in your devices, Norton should be able to pick it up and remove it. Next, we will show you how to remove an iPhone virus or malware using a Vera Free antivirus app. If you are low on a budget, a Vera Free mobile security is a viable alternative. This software offers good iPhone protection against malware for free. It blocks phishing websites, keeps your info safe on public Wi-Fi, safeguards your identity, and even prevents unwanted calls. To download this app, click the link we have provided below, which will take you to the product page. Upon downloading the app, launch it, read, and accept their policy. 
Once you click on Accept, you will be taken to the main screen. On the dashboard, you will see many options, including an easily noticeable button to run a smart scan. The smart scan checks for protection, privacy, and performance issues. If there's anything malicious or shady on your iPhone, Avira Free will be able to pick it up and remove it without hassle. So, that's all about detecting and removing iPhone viruses. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel to support our work. What do you think about this video? Let us know in the comments section.